Hi guys, welcome back to Spectre Labs. Today I will be reviewing the BlueDio ASBT Bluetooth speakers, which is a portable Bluetooth speaker that you see here. And the uh, ASBT is available for about $82, shipped at Gearbest. And the sample unit you see here was sponsored by Gearbest. Um, one thing that sets the ASBT apart from other Bluetooth speakers it's its uh, ASCII art, which you can see here, are the various country names arranged in uh, map shape. For example, you have uh, Canada here, and it's arranged as the uh, American continent with the US. And over here, you have world map. It's a pretty nice uh, touch, uh, aesthetic touch for the speaker. It, make, doesn't ma it makes it look like a, it gives the speaker a very fresh and uh, contemporary look. And the uh, ASBT is pretty well built actually. Um, there's no creaking or signs of poor quality. Uh, at the front here, you have a metal mesh which covers two 52mm uh, drivers inside here. And at the rear, there is also another metal mesh which um, covers two openings at the back here which allows air pressure, to, air pressure to be released when playing low frequencies and all that. And at the rear here, you also have a micro USB jack for charging and an uh, audio auxiliary jack where you can plug these uh, speakers into an audio source via a 3.5mm uh, wire. And the ASBT also comes with its own uh, neoprene carrying case, soft pouch, which is a very nice uh, quality pouch that you can use to um, store the speaker and also hang hang the pouch on your on your back or on your um, from your um, belt or your short pants or something so it's a it's a pretty nice uh, casing uh, soft pouch to have for this speaker it also has a small pocket here which you can use to store your wires and over here is the uh, 3.5 millimeter wire that comes with the speaker it also comes with a micro USB cable for charging and that one is uh, somewhere else I can't find it um, okay so yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, quality speaker. Also at the bottom here, you have a nice rubber pad, which uh, I'm not sure if you can see, is it, it's pretty soft and uh, grippy, and it, it provides a very good grip for the speaker on uneven surfaces, so it doesn't slide off. And uh, yeah, pretty well built speaker. And over here, we have a uh, five five buttons. The the one on here is the speak, uh, the power button. And over here are the two volume buttons, and here is the 3D audio button, and the last one is the mute button, which you can use to mute the speaker when you're answering calls. So the ASBT has about 8 hours of operating time. Uh, it takes about two, 3 hours to charge. And let's power this thing up and see how it goes. Power on. Pairing. Third connected. So right now it's connected to my uh, laptop, and... Uh, the, the maximum volume of the ASBT is pretty decent uh, for a, a speaker of this size. It's actually pretty uh, strong enough to cover a, sp a space of about 1,000 square feet or it's about uh, the size of an apartment, a medium-sized apartment. So it's pr uh, plenty of volume there for small um, beach parties or pool parties or if you want to use it for some kind of outdoor gathering or even an indoor gathering in a small hall. Uh, just is just good enough. So let's uh, play some tracks to um, test the speaker's uh, audio performance and before I start playing the tracks I would just like to mention that the overall audio performance of the ASBT is pretty decent although there are some flaws here and there um, one thing I don't like about the ASBT is the fact that it is pretty weak bass uh, there's hardly any punchiness in its bass and it also has uh, uh, some uh, quite noticeable, noticeable sibilance in the higher frequencies but overall it is actually quite clear in terms of clarity the uh, ASBT does very well um, it reproduces a lot of details very well and there's hardly anything missing from your audio track if you if you listen to it so the ASBT is not exactly the speaker to have if you're someone who likes uh, deep punchy bass or something that um, really shakes the table um, I've actually tried smaller Bluetooth speakers that um, have much better bass performance than the ASBT. Uh, however, overall, it doesn't quite disappoint. It it'll, it'll probably satisfy the vast majority of users out there, except for the most um, probably uh, I would say audiophiles would find it disappointing a bit. 
but I guess for the majority of users, the, the audio is actually quite good. So let's give it uh, some sample tracks to, to test. <laughs> Okay, so as you can hear just now, I'm not sure if you can detect that or not, the uh, sibilance is a bit high but overall clarity is quite good. The bass is not exactly inspiring or um, impressive, it's, it's, there is some bass but actually not very, very punchy. And one more thing I would like to mention is the, uh, the ASBT has this thing called the 3D audio feature which uh, I leave on most of the time, all the time actually, because the, uh, the speaker sounds so much better with 3D on. So just to give you a, a demo on how it works. Okay, so now I believe the uh, I believe the uh, 3D is on. So this is what it sounds like with 3D. And let me turn this off. Okay, so now uh, 3D is turned off. So when 3D is off, the uh, audio performance sounds a little bit more flat, a lot more flatter than with 3D on, and uh, bass is almost uh, almost non-existent at the without 3D. So uh, I can't see any reason why you would, you would want to listen to the speakers without 3D on. So this is my preferred, uh, my favorite option uh, to turn on. It certainly has a lot more depth and deep, uh, depth and uh, I would say deeper sound stage, wider sound stage with the 3D on. While in, in uh, without 3D, it sounds a bit like a speaker. Just with the 3D on, it sounds like you're listening to a wider source of audio, or in other words, a wider sound stage. So. Let's turn off the audio first. Another thing I forgot to mention is the ASBT is not waterproof or weatherproof. So if you're going to bring this to the seaside or some places where there, are, there is a lot of uh, dust or sand, you need to be careful. But overall, it's a very well built speaker. Um, I would say I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, you can get it for about $80 shipped. and. Yeah, it is a speaker that is a good all-rounder, good decent uh, audio performance despite uh, not having enough bass and uh, bits of sibilance. And uh, if you want a speaker that uh, is affordable, a Bluetooth speaker that is uh, reasonably affordable and uh, has nice build quality and a nice design and uh, overall generally good audio performance and the ASBT is pretty good choice. So. That's all I have to say about the uh, BlueDio ASBT, so if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this. So till the next video, I'll see you again, goodbye.